All right, what we have here is the major pandemic.com uh, Blackhawk Sherpa concealment holster um, review for the Glock 19. 23, 32, and 36. Obviously, it also fits. Um, I bought this uh, because I have a Glock 19. Actually, I've got two and wanted a nice holster that could um, I could use for the weapon. Um, I don't really carry the Glock 19 a lot. You basically use it around home. Um, you know, um, basic uh, security duty on the walks and those types of things. I actually have another concealment gun I use for um, a day to day. But uh, my my love hate relationship with holsters has been that I uh, have felt it's been a lifetime of compromise. No holster seems to have um, found a uh, a really nice home. I always seem to have a complaint with everything uh, as far as the holsters go. Um, they never quite quite fit right. They never quite hold the weapon the way I want it to. They don't quite have the angle I, I, I want. Um, so uh, I picked up the uh, the Blackhawk and I had an eye on that uh, for some time and end up Cabela's had a uh, special deal on these where they were getting rid of the old packaging and uh, replacing with the new packaging, and obviously offering a discount, uh, about $10 off of this holster. And now, uh, a Blackhawk has about three different versions of this holster. Same holster, uh, all of them come with, and one of the reasons I liked it, it, was, it comes with a belt loop um, attachment, it comes with a paddle attachment, and... Um, uh, and obviously the Sherpa holster, uh, some of them have a carbon fiber insert. There's an upcharge for that. Some of them do not have the, the locking mechanism for more of a competition re, uh, um, friction holster. Um, I wasn't really interested in that. I, I wanted the retention. And so the, the features of this that kind of drove me to, to picking up this very reasonably priced holster. So they're normally about 50 Dollars if you pick up the carbon fiber uh, versions, they can be a little bit more. Uh, the, what drove me to pick this up was that it did have this combination together in a holster that was adjustable, compact, uh, sat tight to the body, um, obviously custom fit fit for the weapon. Um, I'm a big fan of custom fit holsters versus holsters that um, uh, supposedly fit everything. Uh, the universal holsters. So some of the, the features I really liked were um, the adjustment. Uh, this gives a five, uh, really a five position adjustment uh, capability um, where these pivot uh, within these, these different uh, points of, uh, of contact. Uh, they do lock in very well. Uh, the screws come locked tighted and uh, hold in very nicely. The uh, and these obviously can be switched very easily, no no problem there. The uh, the belt loop itself um, can can be adjusted to fit you know various different belt links. Uh, these can be removed um, via screw if you'd like to for uh, wider belts or some sort of duty rig. The uh, paddle holster. One of the reasons I like this. Was I was really interested in just you know kind of that light duty security holster that could be easily slipped in um, into my my pants uh, without having to fumble pull a belt off put something like this on in the middle of the night when you're half asleep uh, this could be easily slipped in pulled up slipped onto the belt and away you go if you have tighter fitting uh, boxer shorts I'm sure these will work uh, shorts um, jeans dress pants pretty much anything. Uh, if you're a fan of 24, you'll notice that they use the paddle holsters quite a bit. In fact, um, a lot of uh, a lot of the government and um, a lot of government uh, agencies use paddle holsters because they do need to remove their holster uh, through checkpoints, and, uh, and and will offer this this version, especially if they're they're uh, not um, uh, they're folks who are, are issued weapons. Uh, in and out and don't have an assigned weapon to them. So um, anyway, it, it's the, the whole design is is just so it can be slipped on and off fairly easy. 
and uh, and and I like that. For as far as attachment, it has has a little notch here, uh, which grabs uh, inside the clothing and really holds the holster in place for uh, you know all but the the biggest struggles. Um, if you know you're worried about uh, you know some evil terrorist uh, pulling the weapon off your off your uh, your side, then you know you may want to opt for the extra clips that are included. And those can attach in these these points here. So these would put, point in the reverse direction, and they would really lock this in to uh, you know, in, into your clothes and onto your uh, underneath your belt and everything. I tried it with that. I didn't particularly like it. It it really became a belt holster, and you almost needed to remove your belt just to get the thing off. Um, really, not the point I was trying to go for for. Uh, something to pop on my belt and pop off at two in the morning when I got to take the crazy dog out. So um, enough about the attachment points, but I, I think that's a, a critical piece. A lot of times kind of people forget about that. The holster itself is, is really nice. Um, it's uh, very sturdy. Uh, it actually comes with a block initially uh, wedged in here to prevent the, the holster from being crushed uh, during uh, uh, during uh, uh, shipment and so forth, but you obviously don't need that. And uh, what you end up with is a, a nice hold open style, uh, easy, um, uh, easy reholsterable uh, holster that uh, is custom fit for the Glocks, the Glock series. Um, some of the nice other features, it has a speed draw uh, cutout, uh, which I like, brings the weapon into play a little bit faster. Uh, some of the other models have from uh, uh, Blackhawk have a carbon fiber that's supposed to reduce additional noise. Not really sure about that. Um, and, and there's also a version that does not have the locking mechanism. Now, about the locking mechanism, this is kind of a neat uh, idea. So keep in mind, this is kind of a holster as is, adjusted from the factory um, with the tension adjustment. Um, that the weapon basically can drop in and be pulled right out. Now, the thing that's really holding it is this, is this lock mechanism that locks the trigger guard. Now, if we can, if I can do this, you'll see in the bottom there, there's that, uh, that trigger lock or uh, trigger guard lock that locks at the base of the trigger. So when you push that in, it locks right at the base of the, where the, the trigger guard goes here. And, uh, Nice, easy, very natural grab. Uh, a little tension here on the on the release. Remove the weapon. Uh, very natural, not weird like you're grabbing it and you got to hit it with a thumb and and pull something. I mean, it's very quick. Um, played around with this on a number of friends' uh, guns and and at ranges and very fast on target from the holster. Really like that. The other big advantage of this system is once this, on, this is on the belt with the weapon in, it's very difficult for somebody to remove the weapon um, from the holster if they are not wearing the weapon and the holster. Um, about the only situation is if somebody came up behind you and grabbed the weapon. Uh, from the front side, it's literally impossible. From a side or struggle situation, uh, this is a really, really nice um, uh, retention system that uh, I, I believe in. The other other little feature here I like about the, the holster is the full trigger guard cover. Um, not all holsters have that, and most of them do now, but especially with the Glocks, I, that, I think that's, that's really mandatory since they really don't have any other safeties. Um, so nice, fast, on-site, um, uh, bring the, the weapon on target quickly, easy, uh, slips on the belt in the middle of the night, um, comes with a lot of nice little extras, um, fairly inexpensive, not a $100 leather holster, definitely could take a beating, and uh, I hope um, I'm not, uh, don't have yet another holster, I'm disappointed, this one seems like it has a lot of adjustments, and I definitely like it right off the bat. I would show it with, uh, with my Glock 19 in it, however, I just sent in my Glock 19, uh, to uh, actually both of them I own um, into Glock to have the factory update to Gen 4 parts. Um, I've got early second generation Glocks 
and uh, sent them both in for Gen 4 up, upgrades, and uh, obviously there's no charge on that. So I will have, a, uh, in essence, a Gen 4 uh, Glock, upgraded Glock here in, uh, in this that I'll be able to show um, when I get those back. Uh, aside from that, um, if you have any uh, questions or comments, post them. But uh, this is uh, Major Pandemic, trying to help you survive another day. Thanks. All right, what we have here is the MajorPandemic.com uh, Blackhawk Sherpa Concealment Holster um, review for the Glock 19. 23, 32, and 36. Obviously, it also fits. Um, I bought this uh, because I have a Glock 19. Actually, I've got two and wanted a nice holster that could um, I could use for the weapon. Um, I don't really carry the Glock 19 a lot. You basically use it around home, um, you know, um, basic uh, security duty on the walks and those types of things. I've actually have another concealment gun I use for um, a day to day. But uh, my my love hate relationship with holsters has been that I uh, have felt it's been a lifetime of compromise. No holster seems to have um, found a uh, a really nice home. I always seem.